I know that every one of you out here remembers John. I'm going to walk around with a wireless microphone. If you would like to say something, put your hand up and I'll come over to you. I just want to say that uh, John was one of the finest persons I've ever met, and he was kind of like a father to me. Because every time I, we'd meet, he'd always put his arms around me and hug me. And he was more than just good friends. I really appreciated him a lot and loved him a lot. Thank you. I would just like to say that um, I first met John about 15 and a half years ago. And Mary, my husband, and I. Um, and from that point on, we did many things together. Uh, various events, many of them right here in this place, right here. And he was a very special, precious friend. Men thought, human being, and I will miss him very, very much. I would also like to add to that. We got married, John married us, and we got married on the Potomac, and I, I'll never forget the, the, the time we were meeting with him, and he said, well, what, what, what would you like me to wear? And I said, well, what would a chaplain normally wear? And his eyes got really big. He said, really? I can wear my whites? He said, uh-huh. And it was just an honor and privilege to know him. And he's, you know, we look, we, John and I had, and Kelly and had long conversations. We know we'll see him again. We look forward to that day. Don't be bashful. At times it's a little difficult to stand up and talk, especially at the memorial. I don't think there's too many people out here that can talk without breaking. afternoon. Uh, my dad worked on the Hornet. Dick Minger, he was a, a docent here. Actually, he started before the museum opened, and then he was a docent here until uh, right before his death in 2007. And um, Chaplain John was <laughs> the person we asked to come and um, do his funeral service and come to the cemetery and bid him farewell. And um, that meant a lot to my sister and my brother and myself, and it still means a lot to to us today, and that's why we're here. Um, he was a really amazing man, and we really enjoyed being in his presence, even in that really difficult time. Uh, he made things very easy for us, and um, I'm glad we got the chance to know him. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I recently turned 57, and a lot of you here will go, he's a kid, and the other half will go, that's an old guy. But in the short time I've been here on this earth, I can still only count on one hand. The people I can say are the nicest people I've ever met in my life. John was on the top of that heap. And at 95, that means he's been doing it the longest. He's going to be well missed on this planet. And I see that we have another part of the family of Hornet members that were married to that John. I am one of those. How many of those are here today? Just the two of us? Three of us. There's a bunch of them. I don't know what number I am in that list. There's got to be thousands he's married over here. It was an honor to be his friend. We're all gonna miss him. Even if you just want to say goodbye to Jim, the microphone's for you. It's all the memories. I'd like to 
song that remains in the heart. When the music is played, no more. Like the fragrance that stays in the air, or a flower that has blossomed before. Like the star that continues to shine long after the breaking of dawn. The ones we have known remain with us still, and the wonderful memories go on. Very often there, no thank you. Oh. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm a Sunday docent, so I've seen uh, Chaplain John Berger probably every Sunday in the last 15 years, almost every Sunday. And a little story, I was visiting my brother in Florida. He's a retired naval officer. He lives in a place called Fleet Landing. In Fleet Landing, as you might guess, there's a lot of retired people. He introduced me to this couple, and he told them I was a, a docent on the Hornet. And this person's wife said, oh, you know Chaplain John? I said, yes, I do. She said, my husband was a prisoner of war uh, in Vietnam. He was a Navy pilot. And I was at Moffett Field. And Chaplain Berger kept all our wives, all the wives of prisoners of war, hopes up kept us together and kept us faithful. And he was really a, a super person. So I, I thought that was, uh, that was Jeff, Jeff and John to a T. I thought I would pass that along. Thank you. My name is Madeline. I work on the Hornet. I, I said this before about our chaplain. When I first started working here, work on a Sunday, and at that time, we had the services in the war room, not in the chapel. The chapel was under renovation. And I wanted to go to chapel, but I was always busy. And this one day I went, and I, it was packed. 